Hey guys, mowers and blowers here again. So uh, this is a Toro 521 snowblower from back in the late 80s or something. It's old, small, 21 inch clearing path, 5 horsepower, come say. It's got chains on it and I believe these tires are solid, built that way. It's got that old auger style, you know, spiral, big center post. The uh, scraper bar is good. Side shoes are good. Turns. It's got electric start. Good primer bulb. And uh, when I got it, didn't have any gas in it. The guy who sold it to me said it probably needed a carb clean and just a tune up, but uh, I know better. I uh, plugged in my uh, garden extension and it uh, used the electric start works. So the electric start right there is worth money. Um, didn't pull start very well. Uh, didn't pull start my first try, but I put the electric start on there and it started. Ran well. However, after looking at it a little bit, after it sat for a bit, after I put gas in it, it has a gas leak. Probably coming from a bad seal in the. Oh, there you go. Saw it again. Coming from a bad seal in the uh, bowl, or it could be the seat, the needle's not, you know, setting right. So I'll have to take off that heater box and check out that carb anyway. But the electric start works, pull start works. Hell, let's just try it. really feel any tension here some tension but not any not a lot of tension either that bolt broke on the, the shaft or this is not even attached so that's probably it uh, it's probably just not attached to anything that's pulling or that bolt came off anyway I'm gonna put it on its face and take the uh, bottom panel off guy that sold it to me obviously was full of shit because uh, these bolts were really loose. He had had these off earlier. Alright, well, see? Bolt's there, so that's not the problem. Problem is this linkage here. Uh, that's what it is. You see that? So this is supposed to pull, alright? And when I do that, it doesn't pull on anything. See? It doesn't pull it at all. So I just have to, <laughs> I just have to tighten that. That's all, <laughs> and it'll, it should work. That's what appears. Look at all that room here. It's like an inch and a half of space. So uh, it's probably the washer's too small, so it just slipped right through this hole. You know. I'm going to I'm going to find something to uh, jig that. It was easier than that. I just uh screwed it up to here. So now I've got tension and it touches the disc. Before it wasn't moving at all. So spin it and 
catches on. I'm going to put the cover back on, see if it works. Give it a try now. simple man there's nothing to it however now I'm gonna have to address why we have a gas leak so I just took the heater box off and uh, I'm going to take the uh, fuel line off holy shit what a dumbass you guys see what I see <laughs> carburetor is not even in the hole what a dumbass. Unreal, man. I'm surprised this even ran. So the carburetor itself was pretty clean. The uh, gasket was uh, really worn. So that was probably what was uh, causing the gas to leak out. So I, uh, <clears throat> I have this carburetor to come say from go-kart and uh, I bought a new carburetor for the go-kart and this is the original one gasket was pretty good on this You guys remember that so I found out that what could have caused this what what, what makes sense so Water got into it, okay, and filled the fuel bowl, right, and then it froze in the winter so it full of water it froze and it crushed this float um, this actually works, believe it or not, you know? Um, anyway, I took the gasket off of this one and put it in here. Looks like it fits pretty well. Nice seal. If you could see the black, which means it's sealed, right? Before I couldn't even see the black. The bowl was all over it, you know? It was thin. So, uh, I'm going to put this on right now and uh, we'll give it a try. So I've got it on here, however, it seems to be leaking gas. From the nozzle here. I've never had that happen before, ever. I thought it was coming from this tube, but I just chopped the end of it and let's see where the gas is coming from man pain in my butt there we go you always figure it out it's cracked Look at that I've never seen that before well I'm sure I can find one somewhere and there we go. Just uh, took one off of uh, an old Tecumseh lawnmower one. That's why I never throw away parts, man. All right, looks like our gas leak is filled. I'm gonna put this cold contraption back again. So I just put this uh, heater box back on, the knob back on, and we're good. Nice and dry, no leaks. So, uh, I don't know now whether or not it was the gasket or was it that thing the whole time, you know? Anyway, just for a record, this is uh, model 38052. Guy told me made in 1989. Who knows? Anyway, I'm gonna see if this starts now. We did drain it. Huh. 
about that. So, I adjusted the uh, auger handle cable by tightening it up, changed the gasket on the carburetor, and the uh, fuel input nozzle. That's all we did. This works great. Gonna put it on the web for 200. <laughs>